Guy Martin wants to break the motorcycle land speed record and has come to a very special place to start his preparations. We've made it. Bonneville starts here, wasn't it? On the border of Utah and Nevada, the famous Bonneville salt flats emerge out of the prairie land. Tastes of salt. Just taste of salt. It's 40 square miles of perfectly flat, dry lake bed. Hallowed ground that's been used for breaking land speed records for more than a hundred years. It's just like a public beach. Anyone can go there. There was lads just mucking about, taking photos and mucking about down there. And this is what I like, this is what I like. There's no passes, there's no gate, there's no security. A few cones, a few loos over there. That is it, that is it. Caution, salt crust may appear firm, but is often moist and unstable. Enjoy the area, please keep it clean. Guy's new team have set up in the middle of the salt for a week of testing. That's Christopher. Now oh, Christopher, I'm Guy. Nice to meet you. Bro. That's my son Ammon in here. Okay. Crew chief Matt Markstaller discusses the plan for Guy's first ever ride in the streamliner, which will be on stabilizers. Being a two-wheeler means the machine inherently wants to topple over. No right. Guy needs to learn how to balance it before he can go fast. It might take me a week. It might tell me one wrong. We don't know. For this novice session, both the streamliner's engines will be kept switched off while an SUV will tow Guy up and down the course. Usually on a motorbike or on a push bike, the rider's body position has a massive impact on where the bike goes. But this, my body position doesn't have any input at all. I'm wedged in, so I need to get used to that. All he has at his disposal are two joysticks for steering. I feel like Tom Cruise, eh? OK, you ready? Let's get it going. The original test rider left the project when his attitude to risk changed after starting a family. The team are back to square one. A little faster. It's an inauspicious start as Guy bangs from one stabilizer to the other. Keep on, keep going faster. Keep going faster. This is such a long wheelbase and there's such little steering and that it's just a challenge. Pushing and pulling the joystick simply turns the front wheel. After six minutes of juggling them back and forth, he catches the machine in perfect balance. Woo! This is awesome. This is incredible. It took our last guy a week to really do this. This is amazing. That's brilliant, as you Brits would say. Use your brake! By the end of the course, Guy is a balancing expert. He's just getting the gist, isn't he? It's just the gist. You got the gist already. Go ahead. The streamliner has such little steering angle that it needs a half-mile turning circle. So guys pushed round by hand and the practicing continues. This time with the aerodynamic canopy in place. You ready? Okay. An unusual problem is soon uncovered with Guy's vision. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, good, 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 good. Can you see all right? No. That's the problem. I can see with one eye, I can't see with two eyes. I mean, it's just the radius of the screen there, it's just a blur. But I'm having to ride with one eye. I'll, I'll get used to it if I keep doing it. Off we go. OK. Guy keeps practising. Good, 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 good. Stop. But Bonneville's temperatures of around 100 degrees means it doesn't take long for the brakes to overheat and fail. The tow truck stops, but the streamliner can't. Whoa, 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 no brakes, no brakes. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. Okay. 
Okay, not as fast as he does. He's coming back, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Should we give it a minute? <laughs> Guy has had to cope with overheating brakes, a lack of visibility, limited controls and inherent instability, and he hasn't even turned the engines on yet. Little wonder that Bonneville veterans like race director Mike Cook wouldn't want to attempt a land speed record in a machine like this. In my experience, the streamlined motorcycle by far is the most difficult vehicle out here, I think. I'd rather go 500 miles an hour in a car than run 200 on one of these. Oh. It's gonna take us a while to clean that out carefully. I think we should call it a night. I would love to go again, but I don't wanna lose those bearings. When I've watched stuff on him before we came up here, I thought, boy, we're gonna have our hands full of this guy. He's, he's gonna be a California cowboy, you know? And he really surprised me. I think he's probably one of the top three or four guys that I've ever seen jump right up off the skids. If this thing stays together under him, I think he's gonna gas it down there pretty hard. What well, alone? Halfway out, I just think, oh yeah, I need to remember to breathe. <laughs> that was a big thing. And I was clinging on for like a grim death. And I thought, once I relaxed and started breathing, oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, just relax. And it, yeah, it came a bit easier. It came a bit easier. <laughs>